Hi, I'm Eric Marsh, uh, superintendent of the Granite Mountain Hotshots out of Prescott, Arizona. Okay, we do lots of different types of training, uh, physical training, uh, where we run, and we hike, and, and do other sorts of aerobic activity, and that gets us in shape for, uh, you know, hiking the hills, basically. My name is Jake Hanna. This is my first year as a hotshot, uh, fresh rookie, and. Uh, the physical aspect of, uh, for the physical training that we did up to the season, um, you know, it really helped out. It was uh, a lot more endurance than I expected, but um, it helped out. It, it prepared us more than I thought it would out on the fire line. Um, you know, for the long hours that we do, for the long hikes, just getting into the fires, um, take the uh, Granite Mountain hike that we did. That, was, that really prepared us to go in on our first fire, on the horseshoe fire, that we had to hike a good three miles in, and then um, you know the steep terrain that we just had to get to, to dig line, that really prepared us to get to where we needed to be. Uh, with the running, you know, the four or five miles a day, really, they go hand in hand with the hiking. You know, we're always <clears throat> either running or hiking, and that really helped us out for a lot of the fire line. I'm uh, Jesse Steed um, with Grand Mountain Hot Shots. I've been doing this uh, for nine years. I'm a squad leader. Um, our physical um, ability and training that we have here um, is uh, basically um, what we have is hiking and running and li lifting weights. How it, how it pertains to uh, our job is uh, when we're out there on the fire line, uh, we're pushed a lot of times in terrain where no other people will go and uh, we're the last resort for crews to get in that piece of a mountain or a, or a hand line that needed to be put in. So we have a very high physical standard here, um, which uh, relates to um, having the crews run three to four miles a day, the next day we'll be hiking, and then have some type of uh, uh, weightlifting or push-ups or pull-ups. Um, we're only as fast as our slowest person here, so um, we, we want to make sure everybody's on the same page and everybody has the same physical standards so we can count on everybody when it comes to uh, being on the line and having fire behind us. We do a lot of initial training at the beginning of the year. We call it our critical training and that serves many facets to us as a crew. Uh, and there's many facets to that training. A lot of it is physical, just getting our bodies fire ready and ready to be out there on the line all day. And so a big part of that is running and hiking and having all the tools with us all the time. And then another big part of that is just practicing what we do out there on the line all the time. And so when we do our critical training, a big part of it, we try to basically have everything that we would have on the fire just without the flames. So it's really just like a scenario pretty much. And that serves a lot of purposes to a lot of different people. For some of us that are more experienced, uh, it's just a way to try to get our, our minds back into the fire season and get us focused on tactics and strategy and safety and things that we already know but that we need to start thinking about again and being prepared for. For guys that might not necessarily be experienced, there's a lot of new things that are being thrown at them. And so we try to make it as realistic as possible. Like I said, they're going to be doing everything that they would except there's no flame and smoke there. And so that way, when it does come to the real thing, Basically, they know exactly what they have to do. They've done it before. It's just a slightly different situation. And there's, you know, there's, uh, it's kind of like a team building exercise as well. There's a lot of, you know, you can think about like storming, forming, and norming, you know, as a crew. We all have to come together and learn what it's like to swing a tool next to that guy next to you that you're going to be working with out there on the line. And so that way, when we go to a fire like the Schultz fire, and we're, we're going to be putting direct line in just like we've practiced before, it's going to be the same thing that they've done before, it's just now there's flames sitting right next to them. And it, uh, you know, it not only helps the new guys, but it helps us guys that have been around for a while to just try to get back in that mentality and think about the things that we haven't thought about for six months or that we haven't really been doing for the winter and uh, really pays its dividends. You know, we have a saying, uh, Poor preparation precedes poor performance, and we really believe that. So, I, you know, when we prepare, we try to make it as real as possible. <laughs>